Sorry, you have red caps working in your circus? Oh, yes. Remind them that this is our city. And we don't take the time to Paris. Not a chance. What's the harm in your name? I'm not allowed. I'm fine. Think Pawning your wife's ring is the last thing you have to survive the beach. She won't. Let her be the end of it. Don't make things worse. I know. How can you let those dogs be safe in the wild? For the third time, in the last ten days, you throw a fit when there's no hot water. You wouldn't last a day out there. Everything you read is run or sit on my ass praying. And the gods don't give a damn about it. I won't let anything happen to you. Exactly! Pleasure isn't just physical, it's a Honey is a luxury. Every substance has been tried and it. tested by these two. Honey, oh, what? That watch is something flying! Leather-like. Did you see how far that watch had thrown me? Yeah? Was it in ten legs? I can't believe you tried to climb up one of them. Halt! We do not know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place, confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer. Slayer of the dread General Ketherick Thorne. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. Of course, of course. My seal watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. You. We shouldn't have any more Please trouble from the guards. Make your way to the audience chamber. Hells, not this again! Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. I met her twice. The first time, I was a boy of seven or eight, at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim. I asked father later. No, he said. A stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. Mm, 
something's always gnawed at me. At the banquet, Stelmay didn't seem to look at us, but through us. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination. But I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. What, though? I couldn't say. I couldn't say. But think about this. My father was Tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, you must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Lady Please Alia make your way to the audience chamber. Trouble for Gortash. Kinspeople, Baldurians, and dearest Duke Ravenguard, thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him, Gortash. <sighs> this is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. My father's here, Karlak. Cool your fires. He must not come to harm. our time but make no mistake that monkey is mine a moment please my friends an old acquaintance has come to pay her respects please Karlak come and say a proper hello my respects you're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up your ah how I've missed your colorful turns of phrase we must catch up, just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. As for you, I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that netherstone that you carry. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well... Not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding... Together... We can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. The likes of you stand to benefit from the likes of me. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. 
And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Her assassins hunt you even now. They are very efficient killers. Even someone with your talents should take heed. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know. She's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. I'd like to propose a pact. A divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the Absolute. And... my father? Your father will do whatever you command him to. Like any other subject in our kingdom. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not... Well, we need not honor it. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. Gortash's mind remains unknown to you. So Kethrick was ready to betray our alliance, too. I can't say it comes as a surprise. But you should know this. I initiated this plot. I brought Kethrick and Orin together to create the Absolute. They knew this would only work if we stood united and coordinated our powers. Their ambition blinded them to reason. I don't suffer the same affliction. In short, you can trust me. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter. A faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A shapeshifter? It could be anyone. I mean, it's not me, but it could be anyone else. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Orin became what she is. Where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers, when she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherick Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. 
all out of fear of the absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their absolute god. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. Our tyranny, and we are saviors, defenders of the Sword Coast, our loyal subjects will love us, not hate us. What comes next will be entirely their fault. Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. More importantly, just. Now, come, be witness, as I make history as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Then allow me to peek it for you. Your brain twists and stretches under the Watcher's gaze. The pain almost brings you to your knees before fading. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed.